the heck is up everybody amino ph here back at it again with another final boss fight guide today i'll be going over the final boss fight guide for the new quest the curse of era i will now start off with my inventory setup you're going to want to bring your best offensive and defensive melee armor and gear that you can afford and that you have here's a picture of mine you could also sub out the fang with a whip um, honestly any of the best offensive gear that you do have. Inventory setup, if you're not bringing a Serpentine Helm, bring an Antidote because there's a skeleton in there who will poison or venom you, if I'm not mistaken. You'll be fine with one Super Combat Potion, maybe one or two Prayer Potions just to be safe. And then you might be doing a bit of running around while you're in the boss fight to kill the skeleton if you're not freezing him or killing him right away. Plus just getting back to the final boss layer, bring a Stamina Potion. And then obviously just bring your best food and combo eating that you can. Now getting into the final boss fight against Arov. We're just going to grapple across here. This is the very end of the quest too. If you need me to make a guide on the quest, let me know. But we're just going to go over the final boss fight today. After you grapple the pillars, you're going to go in. You're going to touch the pedestal and this is where the final boss fight will commence. Now after watching this cutscene, the final boss fight will begin. We really only need to prioritize protecting from melee and using piety. And the rest of it is pretty self-explanatory. All you have to watch out for is when he throws the axe, I'll let you know. So start off protecting melee, your best offensive prayer. And you're going to watch for him to throw his axe. And whenever he does, you want to get out of the way of it. Don't be like me and I didn't get out of the way. He's still just meleeing us normally. See, there he goes. He goes to wind up his axe throw. It's going to go back behind you and then come back like a boomerang. So anytime you see the axe throw, just stand out of the tiles of his axe throw. You can either stand next to him or behind him when he does that. Then when the skeleton spawns, try to kill him as quickly as possible so he doesn't leave the venom on the floor. Don't be like me. I, this was my first run, so I was just going with the flow. But I killed the skeleton, pulled him away. We're just going to go back to DPSing. Here comes his boomerang again. Watch out for it. Go behind him or stand next to him. Whatever he does that, and you'll avoid all damage. He does hit through prayer too, so just be careful with that. See, I wasn't avoiding his boomerang because I was just figuring it out still. So all you have to do is just focus on avoiding the boomerang. He does hit a decent bit through prayer. So like I said, just bring your best food that you can watch out for his wind up again there it is we're gonna stand next to him or behind him just eat up the fool make sure your prayers are right just keep dpsing him down if you get him low like me don't really worry about the skeletons if they're not in the way but if they are starting to become a nuisance you could either just kill them or i guess bring freezes too if you want to kill them but i didn't really have too much of an issue just keep dpsing him down here comes his boomerang step to the side step behind him it should be good to go. Pretty easy peasy. Nothing too crazy. Just watch the venom tiles. Watch this boomerang. Don't be like me. I just love taking the boomerang damage. And he is down. Congratulations. You've completed the Curse of Era. Hopefully you can get back to your quest cape like I just did. And if you need help with any other bosses or if there's any other guides you'd like to see, please leave a comment below. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Take care. Appreciate you stopping.